So I didn't post yesterday, unfortunately, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, some days I just really don't feel like posting. And it's always nice to have a day off from editing and just filming and everything. So I decided to take the day off. So clean week, back again, Monday night, and uh, I've got an actual band that I've featured on the channel before. Now this is The Altruist. Now, I think me and Brandon actually did a dual reaction to these last time. It was like a nice groovy song, nice vocals, pretty much an all around good song. And uh, they've come back with another brand new song. Now this only got released two weeks ago. I was meant to do this the other week, but things got in the way and uh, it doesn't matter. I'm finally doing it now. So let's just get straight into it. So this is the altruist, no guiding light. Official music video in three, two, one. Hopefully it's got them grooves like it did last time. These guys always have cool music videos as well. Well, from the one I've seen. There's a sound from last time. Oh, that's fucking bouncy, man. Oh, I fucking love these bits, man. Double bass there, I have a double bass. Same as last time, man. Full music video.
Christ. So that was the altruist with no guiding light. So it was very similar to the last song that I listened to. Not in sounding, but just the whole structure of how they do it. Now these guys don't have a particular sound. They stick with the whole song. They tend to blend quite a few different genres in one. Obviously I'll be in rock and metal. There's hints of metalcore in there. Rock, hard rock, standard metal. They just basically put everything into one. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. And I think these guys make it work. I don't know why, but at parts of it, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of Chester Bennington vibe. And not so much like with everything, but like when the vocalist is going a little bit harder with his voice, just sometimes I can hear a little bit of a Chester Bennington tone. I don't know if it's just me or not, but I'm definitely hearing that. Now in this song, I love the parts where the double bass was coming in the drum, the screams were coming in, the heavier sounding bits come in. I know I always say that I don't just listen to the real heavy music, but in this, I really enjoyed that bit the most. I know these guys obviously aren't about the whole heaviness. It's just that in this song in particular, I found that I was drawn to them bits just that little bit more. Of the two songs that I've heard from these guys so far, I'd definitely say this is my favorite. Them little bits in there, like I said, just the screaming and the heavier sound of sounding instruments are the bits that changed it for me and made me think that this song is a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. But the big question, is it beer worthy? It's gotta be beer worthy. Cheers. Cheers.